Scotland has a very diverse geography in the sense that here we are in the central belt just outside of uh, Edinburgh and 40 miles to the west we have Glasgow and the vast majority of the population live within that corridor and it's known as the central belt of Scotland. The people of Scotland um, are very welcoming and, and that's one of the reasons we have a, a large tourist industry. We have city dwelling people um, who, you know, which contains the large population through the central belt of Scotland and we have um, people living in the sort of rural communities, um, farms, um, rural services, working in islands. It's got a population of five, approximately 5.3 million. And that presents its particular transport challenges, congestion, getting people to work, moving about the social activities. The Transport Scotland is the Scottish Government's national transport agency, which has responsibility for all transport around the country be that through direct operation or through policy advice. In Scotland there are over 3 million registered vehicles all wanting access at some point to our 3,500 kilometres of trunk road. For us to really help our customers and something we've really cultured and created over the years is to be a trusted centre of excellence of communication. And we do that through social media such as Twitter or we do it through various message signs, internet radio or the website. The challenges in pr providing a safe and efficient road network from Transport Scotland's point of view is, is providing journey time reliability. So if somebody leaves and wants to make a journey, then they know how long it's going to take. Cubic and the partners uh, have been working with us for a long time delivering the intelligent transport system. The, the system that's on the road network, the gantry system, the overhead lane control, the variable message signs, um, our website, um, our Twitter account, everything like this is delivered through Cubic and his partners. In terms of our ITS strategy going forward for the next 10 years, it's important that we talk to our private sector partners, Cubic for example, in terms of what they could do to help us realise our ambition for our ITS strategy going forward. So as we look ahead, the way that people and businesses consume multimodal transport is going to change hugely hugely because of advances in technology and hugely because people's aspirations of life and how social economic activity will continue to enhance and place demands on transport. And that's why it's important that we work with private partners such as Cubic so we keep a pace and meet those aspirations.